Today, I'll be covering the caller ID feature that is available for the EPOS Now point of sale system. I will first call into our example store from our test phone. A pop-up window will inform you that there's an incoming call and will show the phone number. We can see that this caller isn't in our customer database as there is no customer information that accompanies the phone number. Also, the new button appears, so I know I need to create a new customer by pressing that blue option. Ask the caller for their name and any other relevant information, then fill out the corresponding fields. At the very least, double check that the phone number field is filled out. If they are a delivery customer, be sure to fill out the address fields as well. To add the address, scroll down to the New Address section and enter the details. Once you've captured all the customer information you require, add the customer to the database. Now that the customer has been added, hit the Select button to add them to the current sale and you can proceed to taking their order. Once you finish creating the order, you can accept payment via card over the phone. If they're paying cash in store or when delivered, select the Hold option in the bottom right hand corner. This will allow new orders to be taken while they come to the store or allow the delivery driver to pull up the order details when they depart. Next, I'll show you what this process looks like if a customer who's already in the database calls in to place an order. As you can see, the phone number that pops up is preceded by the customer's name. If the customer says they want to order what they got last time, but can't remember exactly what that was, you can click Details and scroll down to the Customer Transaction History section. By selecting Show Items, it will break down the Customer Transaction Item History. If they're ordering from a different address than before, you can add a new address in the Add New Address section. After confirming those details, ring in the same order as last time and check out following the same steps shown earlier in the video. This section of the video will show you how your delivery driver can use the app to find their destination and accept payment. Within the app, click into the Orders tab along the bottom of the screen. Once there, select the Held tab along the top. Find the name of the customer listed beside the order time. Select the Customers tab along the bottom of the screen. Scroll down until you find the matching customer name and then swipe over towards the right. Hit the Map button and Google Maps will automatically pull up the address associated with that customer. Simply tap Directions within Google Maps and the route will be laid out for the driver. Once they arrive, pull up the Orders tab and select the current order. After that, hit the Pay button. Click the Show Tenders button to see if any partial payment has been made on this order. To complete payment, scroll down and select the method with which they want to pay. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on the EPOS Now point of sale, please give us a call at 1-800-518-5020 or email sales at mpipos.com. For more videos like this one or POS tips, please subscribe to our channel.